case you missed my unboxing video of my Solid State Drive OCZ Agility 3, uh, like I said, in case you missed it, you can view it by clicking right here. I'm a nice guy and got you a link right around this area. So, um, yeah, thank you and you are welcome. But anyway, to the point of this video, this is going to be a video of me actually installing this inside of my Hackintosh. This is the last major upgrade for my system. My RAM is awesome, my processor is awesome, my video card is awesome. And so, um, really the only other updates or upgrades I could do would be like processor or like double my RAM or a new monitor, which I'm thinking of getting rid of this one sometime soon. That's a 24 ASUS, like this direction. And I want to try to get like another one of those so I can have two 24 inches rather than a 24 and a 19. So um, I might, my next computer upgrade is probably going to be a monitor. But since I'm in college and I'm broke, that's not going to be for a while. And I know that's what I said about this, but anyway, this is a 60 gigabyte solid state drive, and this is going to be a video of me installing it in my system. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the side of my machine, and the first thing is just to take the side off. So I have one thumb screw up located up top, and another one located down low. All right, so now there is my two screws, and now this whole side will come off. And um, as you can see, this wire here, that's just connecting my side fan. So I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect that. And now my whole side just came right off. Minus me crossing over the camera there. And uh, you can get a little better glimpse. Uh, my other videos, I usually focus around this region. But for this video, I'll be focusing in this region. So inside my machine, I currently have my 500 gigabyte here and my one terabyte here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be moving these down and having my solid state right here. So in order to do that, I'm going to take the empty tray, which is where my solid state will be going. Now I'm going to take my one terabyte. Of course, I've unplugged all my cables in the back, back there. And now I'm just going to simply move this down one level. That's pretty much it. This is a very nice case for hard drives, by the way, in case you couldn't already tell. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the 500 gigabyte. Simply move it down a level. And now I need to install the third one. So here's my empty tray here. I'll go ahead and zoom this out a little. Here's my empty tray. And um, since this is a two and a half inch drive, and it's a three and a half inch hard drive bay. You need a some sort of like a mount or a converter, in which I do have right here. So what this is going to do, hi, um, it's going to mount right inside of here, and then this little mount will hold the hard drive centered, so it looks something like this. So now what I need to do is screw that, that hard drive into the little mounting bracket. And this is sort of going to be difficult because I only have one screw. This drive did not come with any screws, and the screws that came with my computer don't seem to fit this drive. So this is going to be fun having one screw until I get some more. So um, what I'm going to do is simply, um, if it focuses right, so I'll just go ahead and slide that in there. So now it's centered, it won't move. And as you can see, there's where I have to um, put the screw in. And here's the one screw I have that fits, that I found like anywhere that fits. So... I'll go ahead and just try to screw this in for you guys. Alright, and it's um, a long, very, very hard process, but I I'm managing to do it just fine. And um, I know that was crazy, but the drive is now in. Alright, so now comes time to actually put this inside of the 3.5 inch mounting bracket. Now this is the size of a normal hard drive. And so um, this is all toolless, so as you can see they have little like stubs almost right there. Hopefully that can focus all right for you guys. And so um, that, those go in the holes where the screws would normally go. This is all, like I said, it's all toolless. These aren't real screws. So all you do is simply just try to kind of make it fit inside of here. So I'll try to show this the best way that I can. So you simply align it and then you sort of stretch this side out and there you go. The hard drive is now in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the actual, the entire hard drive and go ahead and just scoop this in right here. So that's now in. And the hard drive is now installed. Alright, so now that the hard drive is plugged in, we actually have to plug in the cable so that it can communicate with everything. And um, this set of cable happens to have two sides. One's at a 90 degree angle 
one is not. Um, the side that's a 90 degree angle um, is usually the one that plugs into the hard drive. Just makes it a little more convenient and there's less um, tension, I guess, on the cable. And so what I'm going to do here is, I don't know if you can see or not, but back here behind all these wires, I have the back of my case off the other side. And so I'm going to um, wrap this through there and I'll keep this side over on this side, um, like the motherboard side of the case so I can plug it in. So the 90 degree side, I'm going to go and thread this back. And now I simply have this, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you guys. Okay, there's my SATA ports. As you can see, there's a blue here. That's SATA 2, which is what I have everything plugged into. And these are SATA 3, which is 6 gigabytes a second, this is 3. So the, um, the best way to take advantage of a solid state drive is to have SATA um, 3. So this is SATA 3 cable. And so I will go and I'll plug this and do the first one. Okay, so now I have it aligned. And I believe it's in all the way. I didn't hear a click though. There we go. The SATA cable is now in. Alright, and here is the other side of my computer. I've picked it up and flipped it. And so now we are on this side of my machine. Before I was on that side. This is the back. And as you can see, here are my three hard drives. Here is my one terabyte right here. My 500 gig and the 60 gig solid state drive I just installed. Now what we have to do is actually connect these drives. So here are my first SATA cables. Right here, one's for the my... Actually, I'm sorry, both of these are for hard drives. I was thinking one was for the optical drive. And then here is my new SATA 3 cable. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect these and really in no specific order. So the bottom one terabyte, now in place. The next one for the um, 500 gigabyte, now in place. And now and the new addition, the newbie around these parts, but the fastest. Hopefully my hand isn't too much in the way for you guys. I know my, I have a spaghetti right here, right? All it's missing is the sauce. But anyway, um, try to show you guys this without blocking the view too much. Alright, SATA cable is now in. Now they need power. So here is one, two, and three. So I now have the three powers, so I'm going to go and plug all of these in. Alright, so the first power is going in. Once again, I'm really trying not to block you guys out, but you can really only do so much. Number two is now in. Now number three. As you can see, I really do have to you know, bend these right to my liking, otherwise it just won't work. Okay, so all three of these are now in, at least I believe so, and I hope so. And uh, that pretty much completes the installation. Alright, so on goes the first side of my computer. And now the second side, which of course has my fan. So I'll have to plug in the power first. Okay, and so now the board just goes on. And now all that's left is the screws. So that's pretty much it for the installation of my solid state drive. Um, I know you guys probably didn't get the best of angles the whole way through, but you know it's just kind of hard with all the wires and stuff in there. I actually had to pull my graphics cards out so you guys could get a better view, but um, that's in. Everything's all right, and um, I, so I guess that's like I said, that's pretty much it for the installation. Um, next, I'm going to be doing a video on how to install Line from a USB drive, and then from there, I'll be actually showing you guys how to do it. And of course, from there, I'll be giving you guys speed tests and everything like that. So there's lots of content coming. So stay tuned to my channel for that. And there's also more videos non-SSD related and everything coming sooner. Not really sooner, but also after that. So um, with that said, I'm at CPUKid on Twitter, and thanks for watching.